New this morning. Right now, there are more than 100,000 men, women, and children on the national transplant waiting list, according to data from the Health Resources Service Administration. Yeah, about 2,500 of those are from right here in Virginia. News 3 anchor Jen Lewis spent some time learning more. You sat down, Jen, with a local transplant recipient about this. Yes, I did. And you know, most people on the wait list are actually waiting for a kidney. Mm. The heart transplant wait list, that is long too. However, an organ donation surgery that is not as common is a double lung transplant. LifeNet Health says they see an average of 80 a year. Last April, a Virginia Beach man was one of them. The journey Jim Stewart has been on is nothing short of miraculous. I got COVID in uh, September 21. Within a couple weeks of being in the hospital, my condition seriously worsened. I, I developed COVID pneumonia. And so I ended up on a ventilator. And on October 1st, I got airlifted to UVA hospital. Jim was in a medically induced coma for six weeks. He was on a ventilator for a total of seven months. Surviving after that much time on a vent is unprecedented. During the COVID era, um, a lot of people went on ventilators. The survival rate was um, 25%. And that's up to 90 days on a, on a ventilator. After 90 days, it goes down to 5%. After some progress, Jim's condition took a turn towards dire. His lungs were failing. His name went on the transplant list, and surprisingly, a match was found in three days. It was just amazing how everything just lined up. And if it wasn't for the donor and, um, and the doctor's skill, um, I would not be sitting here talking with you today. Not only was Jim's life saved as a result of this donor, his doctor was able to share that eight other people benefited because of the selfless decision to donate organs and tissue. More and more people are signing up to become donors. Since 2016, there's been an 89% increase in the number of organ donors. The community knows about the need. They're realizing this is not experimental, and they're realizing that they don't need to take their organs to heaven with them, that they're really needed right here and becoming an organ donor is extremely simple. Most of us remember getting our driver's license and you will be asked in Virginia at the DMV at the time of getting your license if you wish to be an organ and tissue donor. It's also very easy to go to registerme.org and in about three minutes you can register to be an organ and tissue and eye donor. According to Donate Life Virginia, last year 29,000 lives were saved through organ transplants in the Commonwealth and more than one million tissue transplants were performed. Registering the decision to donate acknowledges your wishes to give someone the gift of life. Dear donor family, your family's selflessness has given me a gift beyond measure, a gift that has not only saved my life, but has granted me the opportunity to live anew. I carry your son's legacy with me every day, and I'm determined to live a life that honors his memory and the selfless choice your family made. The identities of the donor family and the transplant recipient are initially kept anonymous and confidential, with the transplant center coordinating any correspondence. Jim felt he had to reach out. I just can't imagine what the those parents went through and that's why you know I thought it was so important to share this with them you know to give them um, hopefully a sense of hope that um, that their son's life had an, an amazing purpose that's my my hope for myself is that I live on purpose and that I can be a positive impact on the world and, and the people in it. And, uh, and thankfully, I have a, a second chance to do that. A second chance is what organ and tissue donation is all about. Hundreds of Virginians receive transplants each year, but two die every week waiting for the gift that does not come. To learn more about donation as well as how to become a registered donor, visit this story at WTKR.com.